currently messing up an approach back to Bar Survey. So I've been shopping. Um, I've been to a neighbouring system, the Crinder system. And the Crinder system has been selling economy passenger modules. So what I've done, I've got rid of some of the mismatch of passenger modules that I had on the ship. And I've gone for the El Cheapo models, the economy models. And I was able to maximize a lot of the uh, module spaces that I could, with the exception of um, the five. I can't land for toffee, but it is early in the morning. No idea why I'm up this early, but hey. There you go. Delivering top quality content to the viewing community. Um, be great if I could land, wouldn't it? So, yeah. So, I've been shopping. Um, there we go. We've landed. And, like I said, I've kitted the old ship out. So, I haven't completely maximised everything because... I've still got shields. And you've got to have shields, right? I think you just, you just got to, because you're going to get interdicted. Uh, and there you go. So, <clears throat> quite a few comments on yesterday's video, yesterday's live stream, which was great. Thank you, everybody, for your comments. Uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to see if we can get some big emissions. Now, oh, straight away, we've got one for 5 million, right? And they're going to see a Frost Enterprise. So, we're going to pick the old cabin for that, and we're going to accept that contract. Cool. That might be it. I don't know. Um, we got two million for twelve there. Okay, we'll allow that as well. Pit cabin. So, all of a sudden, I'm a bit slow this morning. We've got, call it three, eight million in two missions. That's not bad, is it? And then you board hopping, yeah? So, let's keep going down. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. And nothing there. So, currently in the solo mode. And, um... Let's hop out, see what else the other boards have got. Because we've still got quite a bit of capacity to fill. Okay, main menu, and let's start, let's put it into open play. So I've been wondering if anyone's got any interesting things to go and see within Elite, because you know, I like doing the trading, I like doing the passenger missions, but like I said yesterday, I don't really need the money, you know, I much like, I like looking, exploring and looking at wonders and things like that. Anyway, so, passenger lounge. Let's see what we got this time. So, nothing there. Uh, nothing there. Nothing there. Ooh. Yeah, look. Nothing really to get my my heart pound in there, either. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> well, that's rubbish, isn't it? I was getting all excited for a moment then. <sighs> Not a sausage. Just one there, lot. Like ten. That's hardly worth my while, is it? I mean, it's alright in a push. But then I'd only be knocking around about 10 million. What's the point of that? What's the point of all that hassle and messing about? Let's go to a different board. Let's go to private mode. Good old private mode. Private group. Me. Come on, ship, spin. 
We Okay. No be on the servers this godforsaken time of the morning. What am I doing up at 20 to 4 in the morning? I don't know what I'm doing up at 20 to 4. I went to bed really early. We got that old one again. Well, that's it. That just looks like that's our biscuits. That is lock stock the lot. Right? Lock stock the lot. Can we carry anything? It doesn't look like. Why should I be donating things to the cause? You know, how, how much how much is that a small increase? Oh, God, I don't know. Donate. Good. Give me some give me some people to to, to sort out. Right, sorry, so we donated a shitload of money now. Incoming, oh. mission Incoming mission critical. What's all that about? Yeah, go on. It's only money. And I make it you know, I'm making the money back on this run, so who cares? This might this might sort of like hurry things along a bit. Unlikely, but it might. We've had a couple of messages come in asking to be reputation change. So, nothing, 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 not a sausage. Ooh, we got a lot, three million. Hmm, so it was worthwhile. We'll have that pit cabin. Accept my contract. Okay, so we're in private. We're going to go back to open. Like I said yesterday, it's a bit of a fag, this, isn't it? You know what I mean? I mean, okay, so many let you buy ships and buy modules, so you, you know. Well, hey, at least there's no loot crates. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, real money to gain an advantage. And, and EA are doing that with the new Star Wars Battlefront. And I'm a fan of Battlefront. I love the Star Wars, me. Um, but let's be fair. Paying real world money to get an advantage in the game. That's the end of multiplayer as far as I'm concerned. You know, I mean, I'm not particularly good at multiplayer at the best of times. But then I have some Herbert who turns around and spends £200 on loot crates to gain an advantage. What's the point of that? What is the point of that? It's my early morning rant about multiplayer over. Passenger lounge. Right, nothing. Nothing. Nothing again. No, 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 no. Uh. Well, that's disappointing, isn't it? So, how much have we got? Let's just do another check. Anything popped in there? No, no, no. Right, okay, and so... Very quickly, losing the will to live here. 13 refugees. 3.7. So that's 4. And three is seven. 
Well, they were up to 12 million. 12 million. Hardly worth the effort, is it? So, exit to main menu. Let's, let's go back to solo mode. And then head on over to bar survey. Um, I think it's bar survey. Well, you know what I mean. The place where we're going. Wherever that may be. You're at bar survey. We're going to Hayden, aren't we? Right. Passengers. Stand by. We Seven million. We'll have that. Pit cabin. Hey, look at this. We're filling it up. This might not be the yet a pain in the ass. Everyone thought it was. We'll have that because, hey, why not? Five million. Ooh, look at this. Pick that cabin. Accept contract. Nothing there. And nothing there. Well, now we're starting to get some, what I think is, serious coin. I think it's serious coin. I mean, all right, it's not 67 million. I mean, as, as one of the, the people mentioned on um, on yesterday's stream, I really do appreciate all the comments because it shows what different experiences people are having with the game. Um, so what are we up to now? 5.2. Five point six. I see. Five point six. Thirteen. Eighteen. Let's call it nineteen. Twenty one. Twenty two. So and this. Best part of 27 million in one run, and I've still got space, providing I don't get my ass blown out the sky. So, do you know what? That's a fair old. A fair old poke, innit? Let's um, set our destination. Launch. And let's get out of Dodge. Let's get on the road. Bar survey. Cool. Swinging around. Aim towards Hayden. Boosting and let's get past the planetary lock. And we're off. Right, what's all this rubbish about? Yeah, it's just reputation, isn't it? Ted Rogers, 321. People in the UK will know what I'm talking about. Uh, 3, 2, 1. Ted Rogers. The Dusty Bin. Google it. It was so bad it was brilliant. Saturday night viewing back in, I'm going to say early, late 70s, early 80s. 3, 2, 1. A bit on par with, I think you had all the old, um, I think whatever it didn't have as prizes won by the contestants went to Bullseye. Speedboats and the like. So, Sea of Frost Enterprises, we're in for the duration. We are so in for the duration. Here it is. So, we've got our foot down. Yeah. 
a secondary contract available, aren't we? Right, and that's it. So we are now really just waiting for something to happen. You know, yeah. There's a lot of waiting around this game, really, isn't it? Let's face it. Um, well, that's okay. It's only time. Like I say, it's four o'clock in the morning. No dramas there. So 21 million... <clears throat> Excuse me. Twenty-one odd million isn't bad at all, uh, and we're gaining reputation all the time. So I think it is down to the reputation with the factions. It's got to be, and obviously I'm getting a lot more missions as well. Now I've got the old economy cabins um, kicking off. So that was the, one of the biggest mistakes I think of yesterday's live stream. I had a mix mash of. Um, of types of cabin so i had first class i had luxury I had a bit of business knocking on which you'd think would be okay but the unnamed missions you know 12 medical people need to go here or 12 refugees they don't care slumming it in with other people so they'll just get in there and just you know ride out the mission in the same cabin whereas the named people they want their own cabin. They're paying a premium. They're paying some extra money. You know, that's what they want. So, I suppose it all makes sense, really, doesn't it? You know? Look how we fly now these days. So, you know, the general cabin compartment's got like 330 people in it. And then all the people who've got loads of money, they're at the front, eating steak. Drinking Chianti. So, other games I'm playing. Wolfenstein on the Xbox. Been playing a bit of that. Um, but then I've had to move my Xbox out while I'm doing loads of DIY in the house at the moment. Because um, that's been very much long overdue. The shower basically kicked me in the nuts yesterday um, with fitting that. But that was down to the fact that I think I was tired. But that, we're going to knock that on the head today. That's going to get sorted out and done. I mean, everything that could have leaked, leaked. The joint out the floor, leaked. Compression joints. You've got to love those compression joints. Oh, just clip them on. It'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Clean the pipe up. Get all the burrs off. Stick the joint on. Click. Turn the water on. And water pisses out, quite literally, everywhere. So we soldered them instead. No dramas. And, and that is half the problem. Just solder it. I've had some compression joints, absolutely no problems at all whatsoever. And then one, well, you can't even look at it the wrong way. Pfft, everywhere. So it must have, I mean, I didn't think it was a distorted or, or deformed pipe. Has to be said. I think, you know, it was just, well, I don't know. I think they're crap. There's my blatant comment on plumbing today. Compression joints, they're crap. And these are the these are the brass ones, mind. Okay, just push them on; it'll be fine. And then on the back of this show, then I had this. Um, they were push fit, sort of like uh, rather inflexible plastic pipes uh, with the um, the plastic fittings, which seemed to go okay. To be fair, there's an insert to put in the pipe, but that insert was then stopping. A correct seal it was very strange very strange anyway it's working now well I say it's working now it's sort of attached um, gotta level it up put the doors on uh, and then sort of tidy up all the mess that I've made to my walls by, uh, by doing it so bit of a mixed bag yesterday to be honest it was only meant to take a couple of hours because the shower comes in four pieces uh, two doors, um, the back panel's completely moulded, and then, you know, it's meant to be designed with no silicon, so, yeah, easy mate, no problem, stick it in. Uh, no, I think we finished about five o'clock, <laughs> and it's still in pieces, but not to worry, so it's quite a bit of DIY going on. So Wolfenstein, yes, 
Um, quite a bleak sort of like view of what would happen if if the war had gone a different way. And I suppose that's quite topical this weekend as well, really. Um, and it does make you think about the sacrifices of all the veterans and what had happened there. Yeah. So yeah, so the next game's coming out really. I mean, everyone's still waiting for Sea of Thieves. At least my son is. It better be good. Um... The Xbox One X has been released. I'm not exactly sure what that brings to the party. You get more memory, so you've got eight eight gigabyte of RAM. I think the original Xbox has got four. I think it's four. Um, faster, faster processor, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, a one terabyte drive. Higher resolution. Um, you get 4K native. But then again, you add that with the Xbox One S. Um, but this one, I think you're going to get a higher frame rate. And it does some upscaling as well with some of the other games. But I don't see any reason why my Xbox One should be... Is any worse or any better. I mean, I haven't got any 4K screens in the house. They're all 1080p. Um, and the reason for that is... Well, I don't think I'm a really sort of dedicated follower of, of fashion when it comes to getting the latest, best television out. I mean, in the UK, 4K content is not being streamed generally at the moment. I mean, it took a while for HD to, to sort of like kick off. Um, and there's a distinct difference then, but I'm not sure the added resolution for 4K be worth any extra money? Because you know, you know, cable providers like Sky and all the rest of it, I mean, they're going to charge you a premium for that, aren't they? And uh, I'm not entirely sure that that's a good investment. Anyway, so, there you go. So, there's my thoughts on the Xbox One S and the Xbox One X which was released. I'm saying about 540 quid. I mean, a lot of money. A lot of money. Then Battlefront. I do like Star Wars. And, and whenever a Star Wars game has come out over the years, whether it was the old LucasArts stuff and the Jedi series and Dark Forces, I have been the first person out there, money in hand. So shut up, take my money, give me that game, regardless of whether it was good or, good or not. Because... I think because there's a, such a drought of content before in regards to Star Wars, it was the only way you could get extra content, which is by the video games. And whether you loved them or hated them, the games were okay, I thought. Um, first person shooters. One of my favourite ones is Galactic Battlegrounds, which is um, a sort of command and conquer, sort of total war um rehash i love that game and that's available on steam as well that's that's really good and of course you've got empire of war and that's had a bit of new life sort of breathed into that as well because um the mod community on the mod db site have released different skins and and different dynamics for it so you can get um, some battlestar galactica skins for it and that works really well um you know, some of the action in some cases is better than what the new Deadlock game is. Which is another game um, I, I've been playing. Which I think is quite good as well. But that's more on the strategy side and it gets down into the minutia of every sort of like, you know, move your Viper here, fire a missile at that, get your guns on this. Move up and over and round about for this and get around the back of that one and... Uh, and at the end of it, it shows you a pre uh, you, you can select a show a preview um, of the battle. And you, you realise you spent an hour trying to win a battle, and then you get like two minutes of footage. That's, that's how sort of micromanagement and sort of like RTS it is. But it's good. I like it. I've unlocked the, the Jupiter-class battle stars on that now. Um, but yeah, with the Star Wars stuff, I mean, I've always been like an early adopter of the Star Wars stuff, but I'm just not feeling it with this Battlegrounds now. 
I think I'm going to wait until the new year. The price will come down. And it did quite dramatically with Battlefront. Um, the price is going to come down. I'm going to get a deal. And, you know, I will watch the film in December when it comes out. And uh, not have any spoilers. Because I don't want to see the maps or any of the locations that are going to be available in the game. I mean, uh, last year it was, oh yeah, great. Last year or the year before, whenever it came out. When did it come out? It wasn't last year. Last year was Rogue One. Year before that was Force Awakens. Would have been then, wouldn't it? So two years ago. Um, it was going to be a case of, well, okay. Get to play the Jakku map. Right, okay. So there's a lot of crashed ships in a, on a desert planet. I mean, it could have been anywhere. Didn't give anything away. And you paid a premium for that. So, I think I'm going to give it a miss for a couple of months. Let the reviews come in. Um, I probably will get it. I definitely will get it. But I'll probably get it when it's come down from not such a ridiculous looking price. I think. But we'll have to wait and see. Who knows? I've still got Wolfenstein to finish. And what I tend to do is get a game, play it, finish it, or well, on the Xbox anyway finish it um, and then move on to the next one otherwise you find yourself you've got loads of games <laughs> you've spent all your money um, your missus isn't talking to you and you haven't played any of them or you get distracted I don't know what people think more than likely but then again you've got Elite which I think has been one of the best investments in, in the gaming um in my gaming catalogue for a lot of years um i do get an awful lot of enjoyment out of elite i mean i use it as um a medium to keep sort of my presenting skills going as well uh, that's a skill that needs to be exercised quite a bit and also i think you know i i mean i bought the season pass you know whether that be right or wrong in some people's eyes and that's an awful lot of content. And that was all the seasons for five years. Now, well, that was about two years ago. So, so, so far, um, I've been quite impressed with that content. Really. In regards to whatever content you get from other games. And I was saying on yesterday's stream, now Jurassic Park is, is being developed. I'm kind of hoping that Frontier keep the momentum going with Elite and you know, not all the talent goes to work on Jurassic Park and that the team for Elite is still, is still maintained and, and the content still keeps coming up. Because let's face it, I think that's what really put them on the map. I mean, I haven't played um, the roller coaster, the roller coaster game, but that's not really my bag. But... Um, I'm not exactly sure that set the world alight either. And like I was saying yesterday, I mean, Jurassic Park, I mean, how 1995 is that? You know? Anyway. Let's wait and see. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Is he following me? No, he's buggered off. Good. Are we there yet? I want to go an alternate destination. No. <sighs> well, I might. I don't know. It depends, doesn't it? I, I, I really can't be bothered. I want to make my 21 million and then that'll be the end of it. I don't see why, you know, me traveling somewhere else is going to make any difference, you know, for just for, a, you know, a couple of hundred thousand credits, which is a lot of money to some people within this game. When you're starting out, 400,000 credits is a fortune. And now we're talking about, well, I possibly can't do that run for anything less than 68 million or 100 million. You know, it, it's, it gets ridiculous. 
does get ridiculous. So, what do people think about eBay, uh, blah, blah, YouTube's policy of like virtually every video you put up, you have to ask for approval to have adverts on? Now, I don't make a huge amount on eBay. I don't do it for that. Um, yeah, I put commercials and I monetize my videos because, well, why wouldn't you if you're given the option? Um, but then when you put one up, and, and my videos generally get about 200 or 300 views, that sort of thing. Um, so it's, it's nothing fantastic. Then you get a little, a little warning saying, oh, you know, your content is not suitable for some supervisors. Well, uh, some advertisers. So what the hell do you think's in there? Who knows? Who knows? So, okay. Getting a bit closer now, aren't we? Are we there yet? Nearly. One more farmer's field. So, here we go. We're coming down to it. We have to start slowing down. What's this? An asp scout. Ed Gasket. <laughs> Ed Gasket. Oh, I love some of these names. Let's do some scattered. And then I think I'm going to go back to bed. So, here we are, upon approach. The bar on the bottom left hand side is decreasing. Let's not cock this up. What's that? Conflict zone. So, 21 million in a run. But it has taken the best part of, I don't know, 30 minutes. Oh, come on. We can go a little bit faster. Not, not too fast. Right, generally you can put our foot down here and get this a tiny bit quicker. Shave a second or so off. Hey, disengage. Oh, the other side of the station. Come on. Can I dock, please? Can I dock, please? Right, let's get this inside. Yeah, I'll show you YouTube is so anal about trying to win its advertisers back. Um, it just seems to have penalized an awful lot of the creative community. Not that I class myself as part of the creative community. I mean, I'm just some idiot putting elite videos on um, and gaming videos. You know, I mean, there is some great content out there. Um, and I think YouTube has to realise that, okay, yeah, you've got to sort of like, you've got to have advertisers, and people will advertise, but you've got to apply a little bit more logic to what you're doing. And I know what it is, it's because, oh, where are we? 25, that's what we're doing. Put the wheels down. Um... Yeah, I know. I mean, some some adverts have been on some different, some some really harsh videos, and completely wrong. You know, I mean, I agree with that. But then there has to be some sort of moderation, moderation, and and sort of tarring everybody with the same brush. I mean, for example, I had a video um, which was 
flagged that it wasn't suitable for most advertisers, whereas other videos in the past had been. And you got to think, well, I mean, what was it called? It was um, Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. It was Protect the Diplomat. Right? So Battlestar Galactica, Deadlock, Protect the Diplomat. Oh, no, that's not... Um, that's not suitable. You can't have that. So request the review. And by the time they get themselves around to doing that, then you've lost any momentum that you've got. And because they're so busy, they're saying, oh, we can't review until it reaches a thousand views. Well, sometimes you might not. Anyway, so we're here. We've arrived at Sea of Frost Enterprise. Sea of Frost Enterprise. So, okay. Passenger Lounge. Incoming message. So that's 7.8 million. Oh, thank you. So have a look at our commodities market. Now, what the hell am I doing here with all this stuff? Geological, am I going to make any money on that? Oh! No. That was silly, wasn't it? Where am I buying cargo? I don't know what I'm doing. So we're up to 12, 13 million. Sixteen point seven million. We're going to call that seventeen million. So that's twenty million, and I've got to go and sell some guff here. That's 20 million so far. Um, and all this at quarter past four in the morning. Uh, where were we? How much should we get for that? So that's 25 million, if my maths is right. And it could be wrong. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. But, it's not a hell of a lot going back the other way, is it? But there you go. So, it just goes to show, it works if your ship is configured correctly. Right? So, I hereby say that this is a good run. It's all about reputation, though. And I've been Ricardo, and thank you very much for watching this very early morning on a Sunday live stream of doing passenger missions. Thanks to all the people who leave comments and support the channel. I don't say that often enough, but I really do um, appreciate all the support you guys give me. You know who you are. Um, please feel free to like and share the video uh, and get it out there so you can get some traction on some of the videos as well that's going on. So that way then I can start making some more content. So thanks for that. Um, have a good weekend, you lot. And hey, I'll speak to you soon.